Today I'm going to talk about using Desmos to factor polynomial. And the thought is, when we're looking for our rational roots, we're using technology to find out which ones gives us zeros. So the question is, couldn't we just look at the graph and see the zeros and factor from there? And my answer is, sort of. So I'm going to use this as my example. f of x is 8x cubed minus 54x squared plus 55x plus 75. So I went to Desmos, put in my function, and then I can see on the graph that I have three zeros, one at negative 0.75, one at 2.5, and one at positive 5. So let's go ahead and enter those in. I'm going to put in my answer as fractions instead of decimals. So negative 0.75, I'm going to put in as negative 3 over 4. Then 2.5, I'm going to put 5 over 2. And then the last one was 5, so let's enter that in. And we can see we got that part correct. Now we want to move on to writing the polynomial in factored form. When you're putting in factored form, you want to think to flip around the sign of your individual factor. So instead of negative 3 fourths, we put positive 3 fourths. Instead of 5 halves, we put negative 5 halves. And then instead of 5, we put negative 5. So let's admit it. And notice that we got it wrong. Why is it wrong? Well, it's wrong because we don't have the correct leading coefficient. If, if we were to multiply out this polynomial, we would have a leading term of x cubed, and our original polynomial was 8x cubed. So I need to make sure my leading coefficient is also an 8. So really what I need to do is I need to clear these fractions. So I'm going to multiply the first term by 4. I'm going to multiply the second term by 2 and I'm going to leave the last term alone. So the first term multiplied by 4 gives me a 4x, and then just 3. My second factor multiplied by 2, I get a 2x, and then just 5, and my last term is fine. Let's try now, and we can see we got the answer correct. So that's where Desmos pushes us in the right direction. It sends us towards our zeros, but it won't tell us the coefficients you're supposed to put in when you write out the factors. You can also come into problems if your polynomial happens to have complex zeros. Complex zeros are not going to show up on a graphing calculator. So you might get one or two real solutions, and then you'll have to find the complex solutions on your own.